This is a quick tutorial on how to program Controller Mate 4 for use of Logitech M uh, MX5500 keyboard. I struggled and struggled and struggled to get that keyboard to work correctly for with the OS X. It is my favorite keyboard by far, but the number pad just wouldn't respond. Lots of time uh, spent trying to find a solution for this. Finally found one, uh, Controller Mate, so I'm hoping to save uh, yourself the hassle of learning how to program it. And more importantly, as a uh, archive for myself, so I remember how I do it, in case I need to do it again on someone else's machine. So we open up Controller Mate. Um, it's a little overwhelming at first. Uh, this will probably be blank if this is the first time you use it. If it's not, you can pretty much delete everything that's already there. You might want to keep some of the tutorials, but uh, that's totally up to you. Okay, so. Go to uh, controllers, find your keyboard on the right hand side here. Mine says combo free KVM because I run my keyboard through a KVM switch. So that is my keyboard. Down here in devices, I'm looking for driver configuration because I want to modify the entire driver. Combo free KVM configuration. Under control, scroll down until you can find keyboard num lock and clear a little background for the geeks uh, when you press the one of the number pad numbers the keyboard is actually send the num lock command then the key you press and then followed by the clear command that's what's given all the erratic behavior so click on default uh, change that to none what that means is when you press that key any key that's over there it's going to send the num lock command then the number and then the clear but this uh, controller mate is going to interrupt the num lock and the clear command and replace it with none so nothing's going to happen when those two keys are pressed so that pretty much made our number pad work that's it second step well uh, while i was doing this uh, decided i want to modify my keyboard and get some of these f1 through f12 keys to actually work so uh, Find the key, think about the key you want to modify. In this case, I want to modify F1. So make sure you're on your palette on controllers. Go ahead and create. I just right clicked here. Go ahead and create a new programming page. I'm on this page. In your inspector window, you can give it a name. We're just going to call this the temp. Nice original name like that. Keyboard. Okay, over here on the right hand side, I want to press F1 and watch what happens down here. It scrolls down, keyboard F1 building block, press F1 again, flashes green. Drag that across. Output, Apple, lots of good stuff in here. I took the time and went through each one of these to see what it did. Extra is where we want to go. Finder item building block. Oops, let's get these to link up there. So now they're linked up. Got my inspector, I've clicked on that. It tells me I'm on finder item, item path. Now you could just drag it up there. I personally don't know where mine is, so it's in applications, Adobe Photoshop. I'm going to link my F1 key will now open Adobe Photoshop. So we got that, we'll hit save. We've got it turned on, that's what the check marks mean. So I've got my original KVM configuration turned on the keyboard configuration that I had written, and then uh, these two tests that I just did for you guys. So a uh, quick little test. I've saved it. I press F1, and Photoshop opens, just like it was supposed to do. Go back to Controller Mate. And that's it. You can repeat as many times as you need. Just keep building. So uh, I want another program, another controller. This time I want to use my F2 key. Go back to my inspector. I want to open up. I don't know what I want to open up this time. Let's open up uh, the original Launchpad. So it's on that keyboard. So there's my Launchpad app. Boom. While I'm here, well, I might as well look F. I've already mapped it. That's why I did that. So if I turn that off. I'll press F3 again. Come straight down here to my F3 building block. I'm just going to drag it over here. Oh, back to extras. And probably just try this. Let's get a new palette. 
look at that. Now we're really cooking with Crisco. So I want this one on controllers. Put this over here, drag this out of the way. So now uh, let's see, F3, I got my finder item. I want to make that go to mission control. Mission control. There we go. You just keep repeating. Uh, F4. F4, I don't know what I want that to do. Anyway, spend some time, learn what these do. Good stuff here. That's all I got. Thanks.